Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've got another little blog post slider for you today. This one's nice, it's a 3D blog post slider. We're actually using the premium plugin Divi Supreme modules for this today. If you want to learn more about that, have a look at our playlist below this video. This is a really striking feature to have on your site. And obviously, if we roll over it, it's going to stop and we can click on a button and it'll take us to the particular post. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder and I'll show you how to put this together. If I just go to my dashboard, you want to make sure before you get started here, you've actually got some posts. This is specifically for posts. So I've got several posts here and a couple of different post categories there, new and old categories. So you want to make sure you've got some posts and categories set up before you attempt this. Okay, well, let's go down. I'm just going to delete this module I've got here. So I've got a section here, the blue tab with a row, the green tab, single column in there. Let's add our post slider. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add Supreme modules, you get another 40 or 50 or so of these modules here, as well as some extensions that allow you to make pop-ups and use your library with short codes and stuff like that. So I'm looking for the Supreme blog post carousel today. There it is, Supreme blog carousel. I'm simply going to drop that in there. And it's automatically added three little posts for us right there. Now down below, you can choose how many you want to actually show. And here are the categories that I mentioned. I just want ones from my new and from my old posts. They're the two categories I want to show up there. You can change the format if you want to. At the moment, we've got month, day and year. You can change it to whatever you want by switching the letters around there. Elements. You can decide whether to show the featured image that we've got here. The title, obviously. An excerpt. We've got no excerpt in there. I'm going to turn that off. You can show the date, obviously. And that's the author name right there. If you want to add the category, you can just add the category. And it's put it right there. I'm happy to not add the category. Meta separator is our little line that we've got going on there. You can change it to a hyphen or whatever you prefer to do. There's our author. If you want to show you author, we can add a read more button if you want them to click on it and add read more. There's our little read more right there. And you can cho cho choose to show the bottom meta elements if you want to by switching that on. And that way it'll give you the icon name date etc as well as the one at the top there I'm going to switch this off don't need two lots of that on my site okay well let's roll down to our carousel settings this is where things get interesting and at the moment we're looking at a slide effect as you can see it's sort of sliding from one to the other I'm going to be doing a cover flow today and I'll go back to that in a minute we've also got a flip version which will turn it into one little post like that and then it'll flip to the next post. And you can decide whether to have it left or right, or right to left, whichever way you want to flip. We've also got cube, which will cube rotate from one post to the other. If we watch that one now, it's sort of turning it around in a cube type fashion. And that's pretty cool. But I want to put mine back to cover flow at the top here, which we can sort of build this 3D type effect. As you can see, they've sort of angled our posts there. You can rotate them to different values, twist them how that you want them to have them twisted. The depth makes it wider or shorter. And you can decide on how many slides you want and then adjust it to how it looks. Right to left, that's fine with me. Well, let's go 
left to right. Columns, I've got three there. I'm going to ramp that up to five, I think. So we've actually got five in there, but because we've got them turned, we can see more at the ends there. You can use multiple rows if you want to. And I've got an odd number, so I'm going to always have one in the center. But if you've got an even number, you can use centered mode, which will give you one in the middle right there. Spacing wise, let's put them down so they're really close together. Transition duration is the time this one takes to get to here. So it's 500 milliseconds, basically. We want it to infinitely loop. We want it to autoplay. Don't want them to have to click on it to start it. And the time it hovers on each one is five seconds or 5,000 milliseconds. You can slide this, put in a value and increment up and down with the arrows if you need to. If we switch this one on, when we pause, when we put our mouse on it, it'll pause and stop, which is what we want. I like to do that because it gives people a chance to read the writing and click on a button and look at an image if they need to. We've got pagination at the bottom there. It's very hard to see the little dot going along there, but it is there. And we've got navigation. I'm going to turn my navigation off. There we go. If your blog posts and images are of different heights, mine are all the same height because the images and content are pretty similar there. You can use equal height. And you can disable touch dragging if you want to on tablets and mobile. I'm going to leave mine on for that. Let's go back up. And I'm going to bring this depth down a little bit. If I turn our show shadow on, it'll give it a little shadow and make it more 3D looking like that. It works quite nicely for me. OK, I'm going to go over to my design now. And we go to the post item. You can give it padding top bottom left and right if you want to and change the background color I'm not going to change anything right there I'm quite, quite happy with the way it is might give it a border on the bottom perhaps so I'm going to select the bottom border there give it a couple pixels as you can see it appearing right there and I'm going to make that purple I'm going to roll on down. Now we've got the thumbnail, which is our image right there. I actually don't want it to fit. I want it to be the actual size. So I'm going to change it to contain. And now I've got my images the correct size there, which is great. I don't want to round the corners or give that a board or anything like that. So I'm going to roll on down. Post entry. We've got our title here. And as with all things Divi, you can style these. It's got a huge amount of fonts for, to choose from. Just roll over one, it'll give you an example of it. I'm happy to use the default. I will pop that into the middle then. Entry summary. Again, I'm gonna pop that into the middle. We've got no actual summary with ours today. We've got our metadata there. I'm going to line that to the center as well. Now let's make it purple in color. We've also got our author font down here. Let's make that same color. There we go. And if we continue to roll down, we've got our read more button here. I prefer for that to be more like a button. So I want to pop it in the middle. I'm going to put the custom styles on for it. Now I'm going to make the text color white and I'm going to give it a purple background. There we go. And I'm going to take the border away. I don't think I need a border on there. And let's give it a bit of box shadow down the bottom, perhaps. I don't want to read more icon. Yeah, let's just put a little box shadow under the button there just to lift it off of our card great well that's starting to look more like i want it let's roll on down outer shadows fine navigation well i've taken the navigation off 
but pagination down the bottom the little dots here I want to be able to see them a bit better so I'm going to make it purple in color there and the pagination itself will be a faded version of that purple if I put it in like that fantastic we've got no bottom meadow items and I don't need an overlay because there's nothing to overlay against overlay I'd probably use if there was actually titles and things getting lost in images sizing spacing and filter is fine what I do want to go is just go back to the content again go to the carousel settings and I'm just going to adjust these a little bit more get my depth to where we want it I'm going to take that down to about 20 if it doesn't go as far as you want it to go just type in the value you want there we go and that works for me that's kind of filled it out nicely so we're good to go let's save our changes save the page changes and exit the visual builder And there's our little slider and it'll start sliding automatically and that's a great looking little feature obviously when we hover over it it's going to stop and when we click on it it'll take us to the specific blog post as you can see i've got a, just a generic blog post set up here divi's theme builder allows you to customize your blog page like any other divi page so in future videos we'll show you how to do that it's really easy and let's go back so there you go guys there's a 3d cover flow blog post slider for you i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.